Hi, I'm Justin Green with Anderson and Freeland. Today we're going to discuss making a Flint Digital Ace 067 plate on an ESCO CDI4835 with the Flint F3 processor. Here is a sheet of 4835 Digital Ace material. The first step is to back expose it. This is the Flint F3 exposure unit. Set the plate in and perform our back exposure. Close the hood and hit start. For this particular material and equipment, we're doing a 100 second back exposure. After we've back exposed the plate, we bring it back to the ESCO 4835, take the cover sheet off, and mount it. Once the plate is on the loading table, we want to make sure it's square using the guides. We're then going to open the door and mount the plate to the drum using the pneumatic clamps. Then going to open the pneumatic clamp using the foot pedal. Roll the drum back till the plate barely touches. Using the foot pedal again, we're going to close the pneumatic clamp, roll the plate onto the drum, and clamp the tail edge into the pneumatic clamp. Now again with the foot pedal, open the pneumatic clamp, drop the tail edge, and then close the pneumatic clamp. Close the cover. I've prepared a four color fingerprint job. Now we're going to use Merge to prepare it to be imaged on the plate. We're going to open up our file folder and find the one bit tips for our job. We're then going to pull them over into our Merge program. Once our files are loaded, we're going to use the merge software to auto arrange the images onto the plate. We're then going to select our plate from our plate drum window. I'm going to select Flint 067 for our material. We'll then go back into the merge window, start, expose. This will allow us to save it out to the actual imaging device. Now the job has been sent to our expose window. Before you hit start, Make sure that your laser head is at the start position. In this case, 50 millimeters. And that your vacuum is up to pressure. And now we're ready to hit the start button and image the plate. Now the imaging is complete. Let's open the cover and take a look. Our plate has been imaged. Everything looks good. So now let's take the plate off, just reversing the procedure of how we put it on. Now that our plate is off, it's time to do the face exposure. Now that we're done with the imaging on the ESCO CDI, we'll bring it to the Flint F3 exposure unit for the face exposure. The carbon mask acts as the film for the plate. For this reason, there's no need for the cream. All we'll do now is close the hood and start the main exposure. Exposure times are dependent upon the machine and the materials. For this case, it's 12 minutes. Our face exposure is complete. Now we're going to take the plate out of the F3 exposure unit and punch it for the pin bar for F3 inline washer. Take it to the punch unit, put the plate in, center it in the punch, and then push the red button to punch the plate. And there are the holes for the pin bar. After punching the plate, We'll bring the plate to the Nyloflex F3 inline processor, where we're going to put it on the pin bar. Now we'll go to the control panel and select the material that we want to run. The Nyloflex F3 inline processor allows you to store multiple materials with a brush height and speed for washout. For this instance, we're going to use the ACE D2067. After selecting the material we're going to process, slide the pin bar and the plate 
under the sensors to start the drive. The pin bar will be caught by the screw drive system, taking the plate through the system for processing. Once the plate is through the processor, you'll begin removing it from the pin bar and then perform a quick visual inspection before putting it in the dryer. Everything looks good. Let's take it and dry it. The Nyloflex F3 Exposure Unit comes with built-in dryer drawers. Set the plate in the dryer drawer. Close it, let it sit for one to two hours.